Welcome to another edition of Desarian Plays MMOs. Today I'm in Final Fantasy 14 and I'm on my level 20. Is that a 6 or an 8 Arcanist? I think it's an 8. I'm getting sold. I can't read anything. Um, 28. All right. And uh, we're right where we left off. We're here at Little Mojijo Ala Alamigo. And uh, we're going to continue on with the main storyline because that's what I am focused on right now. So let's talk to Gundabol and see what he says. He wants to wish you well on your investigation. Would that we had more information to offer, but what Wilred told us, told you is the extent of our knowledge of the masked stranger. Left unchecked, the man will bring about great pain and suffering. I pray that you will find and put a swift end to the creature for the sake of of the young ones who died by his poisoned words. Yes, we probably could have completed that the last time uh, because we're going to report back to Menfila at the Walking Sands. I guess it's Menfilia at the Waking Sands, not whatever I said. So I uh, just made it in. I guess taking a little while to get in here. Let's get in and talk to her. Entrance to the Sula. Menfilia. Welcome back. I am reliably informed that the investigation took you to the quarry mill and little Alamigo. So tell me, were you able to learn aught of La Habare? That's how you say it. And I tell the story about all the kids and everything else. Planted the knowledge of summoning an impressionable young mind, you say. Precisely the kind of deception the Essenes would employ. While many of the ills and ale of the land can be attributed to the calamity, some are being brought about by malign will. We must needs delve deeper into this, while things remain quiet on the primal front. All work and no play makes Menphilia a dull scion. Hmm. Did you say something? <laughs> Nothing, my lady. <laughs> What's that? Mm -hmm. Mayhaps we ought to rest a while before speaking further of the investigation. And get a bowl of lentil and chestnuts. Okay, what are we doing next then? Okay, well I guess we've rested. Level 27, Terror at Falgord. While you were tending to business in Thanalan, some new information arrived courtesy of our friends, the Sylphs. The individual fitting Labrea's description has been sighted in North Shroud. The sighting comes in the wake of a series of mysterious deaths in the self-same area. My instincts tell me that our man is involved. I would have you continue your investigation where you left off. Twelve willing will pick up La Habrea's trail once more. Now, Rixia can furnish you with the details. Pray speak with her and take it from there. As always, be careful out there, Desarian. I can do that. So I think she means... Uh, oh, no, Rixia. She's the Sylph. Uh, so we've got to go back uh, and talk to the Sylphs. And then, and let's see where they're at. Just to make sure I know what I'm doing here. So I should be able to go here and hit map. Oh. She's sitting here in the solar, or in the uh, the waking sands. We don't have to run all the way back there after all. Sure enough, there it is. It because I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Walking one is to investigate sinister one. Then heed well this one's words. This one is friends with a walking one in the Ash Crown Consortium. According to the friendly one, a digging one named Medrod had an encounter with a scary masked one. This masked one is most certainly the sinister one. Walking one should go and speak with the digging one Medrod. Stigging, digging one is to be found at Falgrald Flout Float in the North Shroud. Okay, so now, good, I'm glad we didn't have to go all the way to where they normally are to get there. 
So we can see we need to go to Fall Guard Frout, which I haven't been to on this character. But it looks like I can get there from New Gridania or Central Stroud. So I'll probably go to New Gridania, New Gridania since uh, that is a favorited place and I have. Uh, doesn't cost me much gold to get there. So here at Gridania, you can see we've got, if we go to Central Shroud, and then we come out and we go straight into North Shroud. Uh, and that's probably going to be the quickest path. So if I go, uh, I guess I just have to run over there. Uh, which isn't that big a deal. I don't know. Actually, if I go, I forget there's two parts here. If I go up here by the Conjurer's Guild, there's actually a North Shroud exit. Uh, so let me go back over here. We'll go to the Aetherite. Do Aetherite and Conjurer's Guild. And now I just go north of here. Take the first left. You can see it right up there. And this exit should take us out to the North Shroud. Not bad. All right, you already seen the Z's? Good work, adventurer. So were you able to figure out uh, to suggest that the creatures are our culprits? Nothing? Truth be told, even if that was proof, I wouldn't know what it looked like. Anyway, I believe we can safely strike Ziz from our list of suspects, which leaves us with the masked man and his winged eyeball. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. There's something else I heard about the death. It appears all the victims have been have been comely maidens. <laughs> I'd better watch myself, eh? <laughs> uh, unless japes aside, there's a rumor been going around. There's some as a whisper that after each victim died, her rancor went into a great big rock southwest of here, causing it to flash and moan. It bears this investigation, I reckon. I'm going to give you a fire stand stick to blow off a piece of that crag. The stick doesn't even come with a fuse or anything, so you'll have to throw the thing. Once you've torn the rock a new one, bring back some of the fragments and I'll give them a gander. What's all this then? Okay, we're going back to the same kind of area. Uh, so I gotta jump back up on my chocobo. And, uh... Head back out. Okay, so getting up in here. There's a fake going on, but. Looks like we're going to this general area here. But maybe it's below us? Oh, yeah, you see it. Yeah, I know, you didn't like that, did you, buddy? Ooh! Right there it is. 
Looks like we're going to blow this rock here. Oh, okay. So I clicked on the little link. We're going to do this. What do you mean? Yeah, I know, because you won't let me hit the... If I get close... Oh, screw off. Come on. Hmm, I mean crystals appear. Make sure nothing spawns when picking these up, because that is a common thing here in this game. Probably are going to have to fight this clay golem. I wouldn't be surprised. Where is my carbuncle? <laughs> Still don't have him out. Doofus. All right. So we did her that. Let's uh, go back to Aideen. Okay, let's tell her what we found. <clears throat> Most folks are too scared to go within 100 yams of the York Rock of Rancor. Aye, it has a name. But what few vengeful spirits to a dauntless adventure like you, eh? Indeed, because we're awesome. Huh? Why are these just garden variety crystals? It is a bit hard to tell beneath the dirt and the grime, but they're definitely light at lightning aspect. I almost hate to say it, but this explains the flashing and the moaning. Nothing to do with the masked stranger. Looks like I've gone and wasted both your time and a perfectly good fire stick to boot. Oh well. Boy, she's pretty useless then. Ah, this guy might have something to say. There's something you should know. I've been keeping this to myself, at least I worship Medrod's paranoia, but I too have seen the winged eyeball. I cannot say whether it's coincidence, but my sighting took place precisely the same time as Medrod's. I was heading home after a day of digging when I shallow, a shadow fell over me. Looking up, I found myself locked in the gaze with the giant eyeball. I let out a scream at the top of my lugs and ran without without once looking back. This happened as a rocky area west of here, in case you had to mind to investigate. Okay. So we're going to investigate the specified location, which is where? Oh, it's out in that same area. So we're going to be going back and forth there a lot. And let's see what we can find. Okay, it looks like the destination here is by a Ziz. Ziz. Survey. Oh, I got interrupted. Surveying. Because the zizz shocked me just at the last bit. <laughs> My carbuncle's still getting zapped. You sense a hostile presence. Oh no, a bane might.
Okay. So we're going to go ahead back and tell him what we found. Okay. A monstrous bane might appeared, and you slew it. The creature had long been scourged upon the folk of Falgord. Intentional or no, you have done us a great service. You have my gratitude. But this does make me wonder, what is truly a winged eyeball? Was it truly an eye-winged eyeball I saw, or merely a trick of light combined with a blind panic? Yeah, that's, that's not good. Let's see, that does me no good. Ooh, look at that. What is that? I don't know what that is, but it's good. <laughs> so we're going to equip that. I don't know. Oh, it's still not covering. Like, it must have been a headpiece, I think. And we've got a velvet cowl on, which is covering our head, which is actually better. So, too bad. Power of deduction. Sigh. There has been no promising leads in the murder. I can scarce get a wink of sleep knowing that the killer is still at large. Judging by your furrow brows, I take it the sorry business troubles you as much as it does me. I've been pondering my encounter. I was uncertain for a time, but there can be no doubt. I would, it was the wing eyeball that I witnessed. It's implausible that I could have mistaken so distinct a creature for a bane mite. But you and I were moms apart. How could we both seen it at precisely at the same time? What's more, our adventurer friend here has had a run-in with the Bane Mite at the very spot you claim to see the fiendish eyeball. Isn't that right? There must be an explanation. I know I saw an eyeball with wings. I would wager an apple tart on it. Oh, he's serious. But listen, mayhaps it's not as mysterious as we're making it out to be. There's no reason why there couldn't be. Gasp. Gods, of course. There must be more than one of the buggers. Ugh. It's so obvious, but then that means, since there have been repeated sightings of these fiends, then there must be even more victims as yet undiscovered. Go. Nope. I do believe we're out of our depth. We ought to leave the rest to the experts. Yes, yes, we're just civilians after all. Good luck, adventurer. It was our pleasure knowing you. Well, I burned to know the truth. Some things are best left unknown. At least you have forgotten. It was a rocky area to the west that I had my encounter. Should you discover aught of note, you will want to alert the authorities. There's a guardhouse nearby. The serpents there should be pleased for any information that pertains to the security of the region. Okay. So we're, I think we're heading back out. Yep. Heading back out there. Mm, this looks like it is actually above us this time and not down below. So I'll take this little tunnel thing up this time. Uh, uh, let's go over here. Hmm. No, it looks like it's... If this is the way I was supposed to go or not, but it's the way I'm going. Okay, those guys didn't aggro, so we'll. Ooh, there's a mangled corpse. The enemy is still about. Since a hostile presence. Ah, oh, it's the floating eye! I guess we we uh, picked it up. Present the rapid course to Athelmer. Is he? Oh yeah, he's back up. Where? 
we came from somehow. <laughs> I'm running for it. Don't want your zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
you may wish to may take your search to the gentry's ward northwest of here. Wait, a memory comes to me. Of late there has been a man who is perpetually seated at the bench of the ward's entrance. His name is Ursandal, and I distinctly recall seeing a markedly similar button on the breast of his jacket. I dare say he can tell you a thing or two about it. Okay, so I'm going to go over in this direction. Looks like he's over here. And here he is, sitting on the bench, just as he described. I do not believe we are acquainted. Pray lead me to my thoughts. Okay, but what about the button? <gasps> the signal of Darkantaris family. How How is it that you came to be in possession of this button? From the body of a murdered woman? Her, her face... Was it marred in any way? I had feared as much. I can no longer feign ignorance. I shall reveal to the truth of the deaths. But on one condition, you promise to put an end to my lady's madness and free her from her torment. Okay. I know what's coming next, but it's good stuff. Skeletons in her closet. <laughs> I was once a manservant in the employ of one of the oldest and proudest families in Gradania, the Decantors. During that time, I had an honor of waiting upon Lady Amadine, mistress of the household. Fair as a summoner was she, and possessed of a heart befitting her radiance. Alas, the calamity wrought a great change in her. Though my lady escaped with her life, death may well have been kindred fate. Never will I forget the day her bandages were removed and she beheld her disfigured face for the first time. At that moment, the kindly woman I knew ceased to be. Unable to bear the thought of being seen, my lady sequestered herself within her chambers and refused all company. This continued for many uneasy moons until one day, without warning, she began receiving queer guests. None among us knew whence they came, these masked men by my lady believed that they would help her to regain that which she had lost. So began the rites of rejuvenation. This guy is distraught. These rituals seemed innocent enough in the beginning, but grew ever more grotesque as time went by. Eventually, there came a day when my lady bound one of her handmaidens to her bed and proceeded to mutilate the poor girl's face. Suffice it to say, she did not survive the ordeal. It fell to me to dispose of her body. I performed the dreadful task as bade, obedient servant that I was, but when the time came to return to the house, my legs refused to move. I knew then that I could not go back to that place, not after the nightmare I had witnessed. So it was that I left Haku Manor, my home, for nigh half a century. Long did I weep for the girl who was slain, and longer still for the woman that Lady Amaldine had been. Yet one cannot weep forever, and I endeavored to put the matter behind me. Indeed, I had resolved never to speak of my experience until you appeared before me. My lady's madness must be ended, lest more innocent lives be lost. Lay her torment soul to rest as you swore to me you would. She awaits you at Haku Manor. On the western edge of the central shroud. Go now. Go and do what must be done. So a very gruesome little tell. And Haku Manor is a duty. But let's go ahead and travel there. Uh, we can go down to the central shroud. Let's go ahead and uh, do Beach Branch Meadows. And I'll take you over there and show you. So as I get closer, you can start to see the banner right there. Pretty interesting from the outside. Well, level 31 creatures around, including floating eyes. Pretty neat building. And then here we are at the manor gate. So let's go ahead and hit that. H. To get off my interacting with it. The duty fatter has now been updated with a new regular duty. 
So uh, this, if I click the entrance, then it's going to fire up my duty finder. Uh, and since this is a duty, uh, it takes a little while to get through it. Uh, I do have it in my duty finder playlist uh, if you wanted to go check that out. But uh, otherwise, you can wait till the next episode and I'll go through it there with this character. Uh, and it'll be a complete playthrough with this character. So uh, that's going to wrap up this episode then. Uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and leave any comments you may have. If you made it all the way through to this video, you really should be subscribed. I try to put out MMO videos very often, so you want to make sure you're subscribed, hit that notified button, and that way you can get notified when new ones come out. So until next time, bye.